Hi boys and girls, today I wanted to come your way to talk a little bit about what we do in circle time with your parents. Before we start our day, we always like to come in and get settled. So whatever you need to do to get settled for the day, whether that be get dressed, maybe you help make the bed, maybe you do a little chore, have some breakfast. And then after you get settled for the day, I want you to try to find a quiet space with your parents to reflect and give your intentions to God for the day. And what we like to do parents is fold our hands and we think about one special person that we want to ask God to take care of for the day, whether that be an aunt, an uncle, a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother. Um, right now, I'm gonna pray for all of you that you continue to find strength in your day and that you continue to find some time to love and have fun with your families at home, okay? So when you have that special person in your heart, I want you to fold your hands with me and we're gonna start to pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule, and to guide, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Great job, boys and girls. And parents, after we do that, we usually do our calendar and our weather uh, we do things like counting and graphing. So I'm going to go over a little bit about that. Unfortunately, I don't have all those materials at home. But what I do have for you is a blank April calendar. And I also have a weather graph, which I will talk about as we go along in our circle time. And these are some things that you could do with your children daily to just build a routine, um, start off real positive, And it will give you guys hopefully a good jump start to your morning. After we do our prayers, we like to sing a hello song. Now, there's lots of different ways we sing. Uh, we change it up often. One of our uh, songs that we like to do is called Hit the Floor. So we all get in a little circle, and I hold up name tags. And when I say that child's name, that friend will come to the circle, and they get to freestyle dance any way they want without being overly silly, right? They don't want to get hurt, but they could do any freestyle dance to just warm up and it lets out a little laughs and a little bit of laughter, happiness to, to start our morning. So if they, if they were singing to me, they would start to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Come on, Mrs. Cloud and hit the floor. We're so glad you're here today. Hooray, hooray, hooray. And then the next friend would get called. We would do that all the way through circle till we said good morning to everyone. Another song we like to sing is Good Morning Kindergarten. And it goes like this. Good morning, kindergarten. How are you? Good morning, kindergarten. How are you? Oh, it's time to start our day. We will learn and laugh and play. Good morning, kindergarten. How are you? And then I would ask the students, how are they feeling? And they would raise their hand. And there's all kinds of different emotions that we can feel, boys and girls. We can feel happy, sad, nervous, excited, surprised. So you can ask your child to start their day, how are they feeling? And if it's a feeling that maybe you need to go and talk about, then you could take that time to discuss that feeling with your kids, that emotion that they're feeling. Remember, their emotions are real. And so you want to kind of talk about what's making them feel that way, whether it's good or bad. All right. So today I'm feeling really good because I'm getting to spend some time with all of you. All right. So after that, oh, there's a couple more songs we could sing to. There's the hello song that we like to sing together and I'll practice it with you now. It goes like this. Hello to the boys. Hello to the boys. Hello to the boys. How do you say hello? Then it would be the girls turn they would sing that to the boys then it would be the boys turn to sing to the girls hello to the girls hello to the girls hello to the girls how do you say hello then wave to the teachers hello to the teachers hello to the teachers hello to the teachers how do you say hello hello everybody big arms hello everybody hello everybody that's how we say hello and at that time, boys and girls, you know one of our favorite parts to this song is getting to say hello in different languages. So we know that hola is hello in Spanish. Bonjour. We know konnichiwa in Japanese. We know ni hao ma in Chinese. We know privyet in Russian. We know aloha in Hawaii. In Hawaiian, that could be hello or goodbye. And if you want to be silly, you could say, oh, down in Texas, they might like to say howdy, partner. So just make it fun and be silly with your child. That's what kind of helps them to kind of jumpstart their day. And being silly is totally 
fine and it and it just like I said it warms everybody up to have a great morning together after that we do like to do our calendar so remember this little calendar that you get it is already filled out with the first day in April which is Wednesday hey I have a child in my class who has a birthday April 1st do you boys and girls know who it is it's Patrick Patrick's birthday is today happy birthday Patrick birthday wishes to you I hope you have an awesome day with your family and guess what else April 1st is also April Fool's Day. So maybe you'll put, pull a little fun trick on your parents. Not too tricky though, right? Just a little fun trick to say, happy April Fool's, mom and dad. Right? I fooled you. So April 1st is on a Wednesday. What you could do first is just talk about how many days there are in April. There's 30 days. You could sing the um, Days of the Week song, which we have two different versions. I sing one like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then you could ask your child again, how many days are there in a week? There's seven and you can have them name the consecutive days in order, all right? Another way we sing is, I'm sure you know this one, the Adams Family Tune, and it goes like this. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Awesome job. And then you could talk about, boys and girls, the days of the week with your parents. And we always like to do, in our circle, we like to talk about what today is, what yesterday was, and what tomorrow will be. So I'll help you using your calendar. Let's take the elevator up, as we call it, from one. And we could see that that word there starts with a W. W says wah, wah. What day starts with W? Wah, wah. Wednesday. Awesome job. So I will take my marker. And if your child does not know how to spell Wednesday, you could have them look on that calendar and remind them that Wednesday is the proper noun. So it needs an uppercase W. I'm going to write it as neat as I can here. And then I'll show you Wednesday. And remember, all of these are telling sentences, which means they need a period at the end. All right. So let me put my marker down. And you guys can read it to me as I tap them. We'll read it together. You read it first. All right, now we'll read together. Today is Wednesday. All right, so then I'll look back on my calendar. If today, April 1st, is Wednesday, what was yesterday? Very good. Yesterday starts with a T. T, -t Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is take my black marker, and I'm going to write that proper noun. T -t Tuesday, you can help your parents spell the word Tuesday just by looking at your calendar. And if you want to keep a journal and just keep these two papers in a folder, or if you want to keep them in a little notebook, go ahead and you can even write these telling sentences the way I'm writing them. Okay, so yesterday was Tuesday. And then I'm going to go ahead and talk about what tomorrow will be. So if I'm looking at the word Wednesday, then I know that tomorrow will be Thursday. Thursday, th, th, that's a digraph. That starts with T-H, Thursday. So I'm going to write that in blue and remind you again that Thursday is a proper noun, so it needs an uppercase T, Thursday. And this space down here, I'm squeezing it in. You can make sure you're writing nice and neat. And here's another telling sentence. And I'll repeat it back with you. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Awesome job. After we do that, we usually like to sing the month arena, which you can stand up to do this. I'm going to stay seated and just kind of try to go over the motions. So we talked about that there's seven days in a week. And then I usually try to ask the students, how many months are there in a year? Do you guys know? Whisper it to your parents if you know now. It's 12. Very good. So the first month to the new year is January, and then we're going to start to sing our song. It goes like this. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, hooray, hooray, September, October, November, December, hey, month arena. All right? It's kind of like the mark arena. If you know that dance, your parents might know that one. Uh, they could teach you the mark arena, but it's the month arena. It goes in order 
the months of the year. So have fun with that one. And then the next thing you're going to do with your parents is start to look out that window and you're going to sing the weather song and we'll help your parents learn that song too, okay? It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Oh, what's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy out today? Is it snowy? Is it sunny? Or is it partly sunny? Oh, what's the weather? What's the weather? Oh, what's the weather like today? And after you look outside, you can decide if it's gray, puffy clouds, you might say, oh, it's a cloudy day. If it's bright blue, sunny skies and lots of sun, you might say, oh yeah, it's a really sunny day. If there's some sun and some clouds, partly sunny. And then look, is it precipitating outside? We just learned about that through our cloud experiment. Is there some kind of precipitation? Is it raining? I hope it's not snowing, although that's one of your choices for the month of April. Is it snowing? Ooh, I hope not. I don't want any more wackiness going on this month, right? And even in April, I hope it's just a nice calm month, guys. I hope we have lots of sunny days. But you're gonna get to graph, and this is a bar graph. Our bar graph in school is a, a bar graph that we do from bottom to top, but in this bar graph, you're gonna graph from left to right. So say that you woke up on Wednesday, April 1st, and say that it was a bright, beautiful, sunny day. You would graph and get your crayon, and maybe you would use yellow for this, and you would just shade in one rectangle, all right? And then the next day you would do the second one. Say that it was partly sunny, then you would shade that in. At the end of this month, boys and girls, you should be able to tally up how many sunny days, cloudy days, snowy days, hopefully not, and so on you've had. And that'll be a little bit of math for you as well as graphing. And then your calendar, you could also, when you talk about the days of the week and how many days are in April, you could also draw a picture to match the weather. So say April 1st, was a sunny day, you could draw a picture of a sun. If it was a rainy day, you could draw the rain. All right, so have fun with this. Remember, always start your day off with morning prayer. Build that routine, follow that schedule, have fun and sing these happy songs, and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.